it is December 10th, 2022, about 2.30 p.m. And I am less than a day out from shooting our first scripted narrative film with a budget here in Tucson. And so I thought I would do a video recording to kind of archive this moment. I'm feeling pretty good about things. We've got our shot list. We've got a, just a phenomenal crew and, and set of actors that are just at the top of their game right now. And so I'm super excited about, about our filming tomorrow. And uh, then the, the uh, shoot this week, we'll be up in Peoria to film on a houseboat on Wednesday, December 14th. Um, I need to finalize a bunch of things for that, but it sounds like we've got a houseboat that we have scouted and, and, and taken a look at. And so got our cast and, and crew in place for that. And then we'll take a little bit of a pause and uh, we'll be filming after Christmas is the plan on the 27th, 28th, and 29th, and hopefully have a production wrapped on this short film, Summer Haven, by December 30th. Then move into post-production right after that. So all things said, I feel pretty confident and calm and at peace and just excited. Super excited about having everybody over tomorrow and to get this thing rolling. Should be a lot of fun. Day one of production began at my house with Callie Hutchison playing the role of Susan Parada. We also had associate producers Susan Miller Cochran and Alan Williams. Uh, hair and makeup stylist Jessica Fur Morgan, and on set two was Dana Steckety, our script supervisor, Darren Barton, sound recordist, and Mark Brown, our cinematographer. Right. But, but then it starts to impede the visibility of Peter. Okay. Is, is so, like yep. Yeah. And then this guy, actor Ryan Parker Knox was gracious enough to swap lines with Callie in the afternoon. We had a data wrangling table set up for Dana. And in the evening after dinner, we had a shoot with Ryan doing a stunt in our pool, which would double as a lake later in the film. All right, so we just wrapped our first day of production on Summer Haven the series. It's a pretty uh, seamless, smooth day because of the phenomenal cast and crew, I think, that we have built. Everything went pretty much according to plan. Uh, our shooting schedule was on the mark. Got our actors in and out as scheduled, and I'm ready to get some sleep. <laughs> we got a big snowstorm up on the mountain for tomorrow, so the plan is to go up and get some B-roll. Uh, with the unusual snowstorm that we're having here in <clears throat> somewhat early December, 2022. I'm exhausted. Day two of production saw us move up to Lake Pleasant near Phoenix, Arizona, where we had a murder scene written to perform on a houseboat. I'm going to show you a quick teaser trailer I've thrown together of footage from that scene. Without a doubt, filming on a houseboat was a fun challenge, both in terms of the time constraints that we had, 
But more importantly, the physical space within the houseboat itself was super tight. Nonetheless, this wouldn't have been possible without the uh, consent of the houseboat owners, Gracious James and April Miles, who let us film on their home. We had two Phoenix-based crew members join us as well, sound recordist Matthew Ahern and gaffer Stefan Strandy. Days three and four of production saw us moving up to Mount Lemmon to try and film during a snowstorm. This aerial footage was provided by Christopher Verdugo. And what I was trying to go for here was something that looked completely different than the water scenes to contrast with the water scenes from our opening scene. And we were lucky enough to hit it just perfectly in terms of timing our cast and crew to be on the mountain as it was being shut down to film in a storm. And Brian, do you take a step forward or are you where you are? And set. Let's nail this. Action! Hey! Hey! I went into town. We get down into summer. Hey, I said what I was going for visually with the mountain sequence was something that looked completely different from the opening water scenes to lend itself to the story and toward that end we couldn't have gotten luckier timing and scheduling uh, our filming on the mountain to coincide with a pretty severe winter storm actress Claire de la Verne really saved the day for us playing the role of Sophie Larson and filling in last minute for a for another actress who was flight delayed. Her scenes with Ryan Parker Knox, I can't wait to show everyone. There's Dana Steckety, our script supervisor and editor, Carlisle Ellis as well, an actress who joined us on the last day of filming. 11A, take two. And camera is ready. My hand, you're out. Action. All right, it is Saturday, December 31st. And I am in beautiful Redondo Beach. We just wrapped production of our pilot episode for the Summer Haven series in Tucson on Thursday. And it's Saturday right now. So it's my belief that after you wrap a production like that, if you're directing, that you go on vacation and try your best to not think about the film even if it was an extraordinary experience as ours was with an extraordinary cast and crew i just think it's so cognitively and emotionally draining to to put together a film project like that that one's mental faculties really need to recharge after a production and as much as possible Put the film out of mind for a bit. Put the footage in the able hands of your editor and that's exactly what I've done. So I'm here on a beautiful cloudy day in Southern California after making the flight over from Tucson late last night. And I think I'm gonna walk a bit. Wishing you all well. <laughs> 